Sunday lunch is a bigger affair than usual for the Wanda tribe. It's their turn in this part of eastern New Caledonia to host a tourist weekend. A chance to show French visitors their Melanesian or Kanak way of life and to make a bit of extra money. A starkly different scene from 26 years ago when they used this same land to hide Kanak fighters involved in pro-independence violence. Auguste Chagniroa still has the rifle he carried, but he says never fired when he manned the roadblock set up to keep out the French. The Kanak people decided to fight. We had been exploited for too long. We wanted to get our land back. We decided to occupy our land and force the French government to talk about independence. And that's what started the events of 84. Referred to obliquely as Les Evenements, the events, the independence uprising lasted on and off for four years and cost at least 60 lives. Today, after more than two decades of political, social and economic reforms, the capital, Numea, bears little trace of those dark days. The foundation of all of this is the 1998 Numea Accord, which mandates the gradual, but crucially, the irreversible transfer of powers to the locally elected government in the run-up to 2014. In the five years after that, there has to be a referendum on whether to leave certain so-called sovereign powers in the hands of the French, or to opt for full independence. The country's loyalist president says in a globalized world, the idea of full independence for a tiny group of Pacific Islands doesn't make sense. New Caledonia should become a small nation within the big nation of France. For that there need to be two things. On the political side we need to conclude a shared sovereignty agreement with France, an association if you will, and then you have the financial component, which is a very important one. Indeed, money matters in the question of independence. French aid to New Caledonia amounts to $1.5 billion a year, at least 15% of GDP. There's the influence, too, of New Caledonia's biggest industry. The main island contains an estimated 25% of the world's reserves of nickel. As a greater stake in its regulation and profits is ceded to the local administration, even those who once advocated severing ties with France now adopt a more pragmatic tone. There are different challenges than just political power. It's the control of resources. We told the French government that we were ready to engage in all kinds of discussions. We don't want to be shut down in a sterile debate about laws. New Caledonia's stark inequalities remain, and with them support for parties that demand an immediate and complete break with France. But for now, they're in the minority. Numea's night market showcases the kind of multicultural future those in the political ascendancy promote. New Caledonia already has a unique status, officially designated an overseas country of France. Whether you call that kind of arrangement a compromise or a contradiction, it looks set to continue for some time to come. Harry Fawcett, Al Jazeera, New Caledonia.